right here. Uh, her mom, Doria, spending time with her in the UK. She was at Megan's couple in August. Months. We got I Melanie think people Bronwyn. are just waiting for her to get pregnant and looking for any clue that they can. And we're looking for the clues because this blue dress. When it's it comes Jason to public Wood. figures, every detail of their lives is scrutinized, and some stories are more intriguing than others. Take Meghan Markle, for instance. Her pregnancy journey captivated the world, but not always for the reasons you might expect. I know you're curious, but you don't know what the right answer is about the existence of children, right? It's okay, I will give you the answer right now. Megan couldn't deny it. Just as everyone here was interested in the pregnancy in Megan's belly, a woman closely observed Megan and discovered unusual things that sounded very believable and reasonable. She is a classically trained ballet dancer who performed with a company for a couple of years. Throughout two pregnancies, she continued to teach ballet. She wasn't bragging, but she was in incredible shape, managing to do 1,000 plies, an impressive feat, especially considering the challenges of pregnancy. According to her, Megan is impossible to close one's knees with a fetus in there. Hence, she firmly believes Meghan Markle was not pregnant. She recalls how Meghan squatted in stilettos repeatedly during her last trimester with her knees closed, something she insists is impossible. Moreover, Megan was supposedly recovering from bunion surgery at the time, which also seemed highly improbable since it takes months to heal. She started following Megan's journey, fascinated and convinced that Megan was faking her pregnancy. She had not a shadow of a doubt in her mind. To her, it was clear they used a surrogate. Meghan Markle was not pregnant. In a nutshell, Meghan's pregnancy is a complete and utter joke. With the help of sex, drugs, drinking, and other behaviors that would connect him to his wife, Harry has developed an attachment to his spouse. Along with his wife, he is weak and low life and takes pleasure in causing harm to other people. Altering the feelings of other people is done just for the sake of enjoyment. Here, the youngsters are gradually exposed to the world around them, beginning with a small portion of it. Due to the fact that her family has shunned her and her ex-husband has left her, she goes through the motions of pretending that she is pregnant the second time around. Simply conceiving is a horrible experience in and of itself. With regard to the pursuit of Harry due to the fact that he is wealthy and renowned, she comes out on top. After she has informed him that she is expecting a child before to the wedding, the wedding will take place. One way that some people anchor another is by doing so. Harry was swayed by this expression. As well as for the rest of the family, this presents a significant challenge for him. She is in a relationship with a perfect spouse who is not very intelligent, relies on other people, lies, cheats, steals, and makes up problems. They are a wonderful blend of each other. Sources suggest that the children may have been adopted, but it is also possible that they may not really exist. So in your opinion, which opinion are you more inclined to? I still remember the first moment that made me wonder about that pregnancy. I saw a video on YouTube not so long ago when Megan was supposed to be pregnant with Archie. She visited so places with elderly people and their pet dogs. Anyway, would have been at least seven months pregnant. She had on shoes with really high heels and managed to squat with her legs together and make a fuss of a dog. She then stood up without any help, but as she stood up, there was a loud popping noise that appeared to be a moon bump popping out. That is when I began to have my suspicions of her faking the pregnancy. Besides, I think we all know this, and to protect the ghost children if they exist, the royals are well aware of it too, but keeping it under wraps. It makes no real difference anyway, as Harry and his family have been so sidelined they are irrelevant. I guess there's a contingency in there to do with DNA as well. We only know what we saw see regarding Meghan's so-called pregnancy, baby bumps inflating and deflating and slipping, her ability to squat, her ability to continue to wear six heels, etc. She cooked her own goose while trying to fool us, as did Harry with his birth announcement, and no signatures on the announcement like on all other royal birth announcements. The following is a collection of evidence proving that Meghan is not pregnant. First, most I would say at least 90% of pregnant women get a glow in their face. She did not have one. The second squatting in high heels is nigh impossible without tumbling over. Even though I could cross my leggings and lean forward, I was sitting on my backside. Had somebody asked me to stand up from that, I think I would have fallen face first. Third, why the need to hold onto her tummy? Was it because she knew it could move, fall down, or even burst a leak? Fourth, 
Reggie's bumps are not big and high in the morning then, next to nothing hanging just above her well in the afternoon. Fifth, babies do move, kick, and move their arms. But like us adults, it lasts for a couple of minutes. Hers seem to go from round to even at one time in the photo. I saw a triangle. Fifth, as stated in one of the comments, no baby paraphonalia in either their car or being offloaded from the plane or back onto it. Seventh, the empty pram being pushed by Harry, ouch, must hurt them. Eighth, as mentioned before, no royal doctors, no afterbirth photos, no photos, period, except maybe a few of the back of some kid's head. Ninth, her boobs never looked as if she was pregnant, no or seldom any maternity wear, usually something tight-fitting. Finally, as mentioned by a commentator, flimsy blouses, not breast pads for those awfully embarrassing leaks. Even the slimmest breast pad forms a shape in one's bra that is a telltale of leaking boobies. So, again, I honestly can say, in my opinion and from my own experience, she was not pregnant with with of the Invis kids. When it comes to Meghan Markle, her hideous appearance often hides a much darker reality. Many have scrutinized her actions, and it's hard not to be appalled by the blatant deception and the callousness she has exhibited. The pregnancy that captivated the world now seems more like an elaborate ruse, a sham orchestrated by a woman willing to go to any lengths to maintain her public image. Even more shocking is her willingness to use her children as mere pawns in her relentless quest for attention and sympathy. Her manipulative antics, including squatting in stilettos during her supposed third trimester, fly in the face of common sense and decency. It's a betrayal not just to those who believed in her, but to the very essence of motherhood. Meghan Markle's actions reflect a disturbing trend of deceit and self-serving behavior. Her audacity knows no bounds, making a mockery of genuine parenthood and pregnancy. It's time we see through the veneer and acknowledge the depths of her manipulation. People can doubt everything. There is no doubt that Meghan and Harry lied about their children. So why? Clearly, they are known liars. Harry's wife fabricated the entire ruse to get attention and keep the world on pins and needles over her geriatric pregnancy, the secret birth, and her victimization due to the imagined racism she whined about regarding the imaginary child resulting from the imaginary pregnancy. Certainly, she would not tolerate a child being the center of attention. Any woman who has experienced pregnancy and giving birth knows Harry and his wife are lying based on their idiotic claims. Harry's wife made up stories about the imaginary child's development, further proof she was making it all up. An infant of four or five months of age does not say Granny Diane or Crocodile as their first word. The Lilibet scam was to garner favor with the Queen, who did not appreciate the game Harry and his wife were running, and no one was present at the much-touted birthday party at Frogmore for a lily. No cast or crew has ever seen the alleged children on a flight to or from England. The alleged children cannot possibly be enrolled in school, as they do not have birth certificates or immunization records. They also do not have passports. The Montecito house that Harry and Meghan were renting was sold. Harry and Meghan moved out in October 2023. She lives in a bungalow near William Morris Endeavor. He lives in a hotel, no sight of any children. Toddlers are not fed milkshakes from in and out for breakfast on the way to imaginary school. Keep in mind, Harry and his wife are liars. Women in the U.S. carry their babies in the womb like every woman in the world. This is just a crazy thought, but is it possible that Megan may have stuffed her pants so she would look pregnant? Yeah, I know, crazy, right? But I have noticed that no matter the year of Harry and Meghan's rare photos of the children, they have not grown. It's as if they are toddlers forever. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching our video. And I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.